Welcome everybody back to the channel. We are at Disney's Animal Kingdom today. We're doing a POV ride tour of Kilimanjaro Safari. POV point of view. So you can show your little ones what to expect and you'll know what to expect out of the ride. After we get done, we'll let Deirdre describe what she thought and also show you some of the queue footage and also the ride footage from the ride as we go along. Thanks everyone, join us. Kilimanjaro Safaris, 30 minute wait. Elephant, giraffe, lion. Safari booking office. Disney doing a great job with the social distancing markers. And most of the queues kind of changed and it's more open air now. And they also have the fans on. Makes it nice. As the sun sets and the savannah grows dark, the Harambe Wildlife Preserve becomes a All the whole new world and with tackle many boxes new things to see and that they have. More new things to hear. Oh look, yeah, they even got a, a canoe. Cheetah. Cheetahs cannot roar. They use high-pitched chirps to call their cubs. We have a little cheetah with us. There it is. Lions sleep up to 20 hours a day and are most active at night. Hippos can outrun a human. Two of us. Row number one. Row number one. How lucky are we? Yeah, Got front row. Just make sure you keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. We also ask that you please keep your face coverings on while we're on safaris. On the right, that's a bongo. A few more badass. Bongo? Bongo is also known as Ghosts of the Forest because they're surrounded with them. The bongo's heavy horns point backwards and it helps them navigate through the rough brush of the forest. Also rotate their ears in the memory of each other. So you can pick up sounds of productions. There's a black rhinoceros up there. Rhinos can weigh about 3,000 pounds. Can also charge about 35 miles per hour. They have no natural predators, but they're still an incredibly rare sight. Less than 5,000 on the mountain world. Now at the Safi River. It's a good place to find aquatic animals. I found some aquatic birds or some uh, crocodiles. Maybe some malhippos. Over here, you'll see now uh, crocodiles. Should get a good view as you pass over them on this old water bridge. a large tree on the right, crossing us here. It's called a baobab tree. Also known as an upside down tree because its branches kind of look like roots. It can get a leaf that's about nine months out of the year. Have some conserve water, put a store, and some incredibly large chunks. Welcome to the Savannah Overlook. One of the most beautiful views on the earth. Much more open space here in the savannah than it was in the forest. 
So rather than camouflage, many of the animals here rely on their speed and agility for defenders. Many of the warning of those stations of other species to keep them so safe. Some cattle. They have those extra large horns. Also known as Watusi cattle, they have to be first people. They domesticate them. They're the only domesticated animals out here in the savannah. Those horns are heavy, but they are spicy light. Beside those horns is a honeycomb structure, so they are mostly hollow. Well, on the left, we're going to see sable antelopes, or as reddish brownish ones. Their horns go backwards and that helps them deter predators like lions from jumping on their backs. So if I try to jump on one, the dog kicks head back and hunts. I'll see a few wildebeest on lift, and those so black animals. It's a small group of wildebeest. They live in some dense herds of any large mammal except for perhaps humans. But a million and a half to migrate across the river every year. The strange pillars right by the road are termite mills. More on that left, kind of. to make those mounds out of dumb dirt and slab up. Can be as high as concrete and spake out in the African sun. Sometimes elephants use them as fashion ghosts. Then, in collar cattle, see on the right again. Those large horns also act as an AC system. Our Messiah giraffes. The Messiah Jeff species have those more ragged patterns on the coats. Yeah. A group of giraffes is called a tower. Sounds appropriate. Giraffes are the tall same animals. They grow about 20 feet tall. Their height and keen eyesight gives them an adventure of petters that try to hide the tall grasses. Hey. Also run about 35 miles per hour, so can outrun many of the petters in this area. See a few more of the beast on the right side. Yeah, there's some zebras, and, and there's also more giraffes for the cross on the sound lift. Well, a giraffe's neck is impressively long. They have the same number of bones as you do in your neck. A few men's and giraffes have seven bones of necks. And neck right back, a little sarge nars. And there are two zebras on both sides of us. There we go. Redmond Mountain Zebras, 10 to live in small groups, so one stallion and two to five females, as well as a young. So that's a pretty tough one out of them. A group of zebras, it's called a dazzle. Those are mandrels, which are the large monkeys. Males go about 100 pounds, females go about 30 pounds. Also on their right, you'll see an elephant. So it's an African elephant, of course. African elephants have much larger ears than that of the Asian elephants. Some people say the ears of the African elephants resemble African elephants. power. In case you're wondering, that is faster than this truck. But don't worry, they are ever charge of us. A group of rhinos is called the Crash. Now it's a pretty agile for the size. They can gallop and come like horses. Means all four of their feet will be above the ground at the same time, by the other It's like they were rolling around that mud pit on lift earlier. Rhinos will roll around mud that don't knock bugs off their skin. I think I see something on the left up ahead. And in a moment, we're gonna see a cheetah. And maybe two cheetahs. But they're lying down on the hill coming up. If you look between those two trees at the end of the hill, find down right over here. Cheetahs are the fast land animals. They can reach speeds about 60 miles per hour in only three seconds. Unlike other cats, cheetahs' claws always out. Helps give them better traction. They also use their long tails to them change direction so they run so quickly. They're the only large cat that do not roar, rather make more of a chirping sound. Coming up on the right is our centaur horned orx. They have those centaur shaped horns on this. They're actually adapted for desert life. 
Reach an internal body temperature about 115 degrees before breaking into a sweat. A large round into the cross must is a water buck. Of course, made in only grease some stuff, waterproof them. Small round into the is a bot buck. Of course, we have two build beasts. And those ushers next to us are both females. Tailed by the gray feathers. Water bucks are the only type of deer that can swim in the water. Structure on left here is wow. part of It's also a female on the taller side. There's our lions, D. Lions will sleep or remain active for about 20 hours a day. Four hours where they're most active are usually at night. And the warden recently started a goat farm. I think I saw the goat second ago. There they are on lift. It's our Nigerian dwarf goats. They're small, but they still have four chamber stomachs, kind of like giraffes or cattle. Their small size means they're easy to take care of. The milk they produce is quite valuable and nutritious. So milk helps support the locals. I mean, locals don't have to rely on water so much. So it's important to manage this shared area carefully. So try that protects animals and so then protects humans. Well, they're together, honestly. We are getting close to the village again, and so I want to take this moment to say Asante Sana. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been my pleasure driving you around the Harambe Wildlife Center, getting shops off some of our amazing animals. So if you all had a good time out here in Yusfari, maybe another thing or two. Good afternoon, Mike. A lot of wild animals are facing significant challenges, like habitat loss. One reason is due to mining, particularly for a mineral ore known as coal tin. Coal tin is used in the production of many electronics, including cell phones. But to protect wild animals, one simple thing you can do is make sure your old cell phones and other electronics are recycled properly after you dump them. Keep that coal tin in circulation, and it'll help reduce the need for the minor coal tin, nothing to preserve. No wild animals have pets. Looks like we've made it back to the village. And thank you again for choosing Kilimanjaro Safaris. I hope you'll join us again sometimes. Those safaris are different. Now let's make sure of it. And here at Rambe, we don't like to say goodbye. So instead, we say Kwaharini, which means go well. Kwaharini folks, go well. Enjoy this time here and after. Never ever. No, yeah, thank you. No, thank you. Oh. All right, so me and Dee just got off Kilimanjaro Safaris with Anthony. Um, I have to say, I started out, it's an 18 minute ride, so if you got little ones, they need to make sure that their diapers are changed and snacks are had, because at the end of the day, it's 18 minutes for a two-year-old toddler to ride in a truck, and they're supposed to stay seated the whole time, um, or in your lap seated. We did get to see quite a few animals today, as you can see in the video, but I'm going to let Deirdre tell you a little more. I gotta say that it's a little bumpy, but it's it's pretty good. Because there's a lot of animals, and, so, and sometimes you can get up really close to them. Did you get up close to any of them today? Mm -hmm. Um. Seen some zebras out there, didn't we? And yeah. some giraffes. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend it for somebody your age? Um, somebody my age, yeah. What about Ant's age? What do you think? What do you think about Ant? You'll have to make sure, like what my dad said, you have to make sure they're all good. Yeah, because uh, even when you make sure they're all good, they can still get cranky, can't they? Because they're like, why in the world am I in a truck? And there's no food or drinks on that ride, so even if you pack them as a snack, you can't open them because you have wild animals, right? Yeah, because wild animals would be like, yum, 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 yum. So, you hear it from D yourself? I think it's highly recommended for the, you know, five, four or five year old and up, three and under, you gotta make sure they're ready for it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll be making a handful more on some other rides throughout the Disney World parks, focusing on the attractions for the younger crowd, uh, just to give everybody a first-hand look at what it looks like as you enter the queue, get onto the ride, and make your little ones feel comfortable with getting on and, and actually enjoying your time here at Disney World. Thanks everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, smile.
it's free.